A manhunt shuts down a local neighborhood. U.S. Marshals hunting for a shooting suspect who they think is hiding out there in that area. And people who live there have been warned to lock their doors and stay inside. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Tim Becker in for Dan Tilkin. Now, the suspect led police on a chase from Troutdale to Fairview this morning. Since then, police have been searching an area between I-84 and Northeast Halsey. That's where our Jennifer Dowling is live with more on this developing story. Jennifer? Jennifer, Tim, yeah, we're in that neighborhood in Fairview, and you can see behind me where the mobile command center is set up here right near Halsey Street, which is blocked off for about 16 blocks. Now, police are actively going house to house searching for the suspect. He crashed near the Fairview neighborhood following the chase and was spotted armed with a gun. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says he's wanted in Washington in connection with a shooting. He was spotted in Troutdale at a Motel 6 earlier today, and when deputies tried to pull him over during a traffic stop, he took Took off and they chased him until he crashed into a car in this area and ran into the neighborhood. Our deputies blocked off a 10 to 16 block area earlier this afternoon near Halsey and 207th to 223rd. They're advising neighbors here to lock their doors. They should stay locked in their home. Uh, evacuation will happen. They'll have uniformed personnel that will respond to safely evacuate them to an area away from there. Now, law enforcement has officially evacuated a two-block area in which they're searching yard by yard, although the suspect was involved in a car crash. Lieutenant Schrake says there was no reported injuries. He says they couldn't search for the man by helicopter today due to cloud cover. And we did see a drone flying around the area that seemed like it might belong to law enforcement, but we're still waiting for confirmation that they were using that piece of equipment. Because this case is being handled by the U.S. Marshal's Office, the deputies say they can't release a photo at this time of the suspect that they're looking for. They say that will be up to the marshals, but they say if they get that information, they will give it to us. Also, we spoke with people who are not being allowed back in their homes, and we'll talk with one mom tonight coming up at 5. Back to you.